Woman being sought by police following death of husband. Blessed morning to my viewers and my subscribers. I hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful morning. Now my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every or uh, any situation, just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day, keep the devil away. Now my viewers and my subscribers, a chill on a woman are now sought by police after the death of her husband. We have all of this to come up my people, but before we get into all of this, I would appreciate if you all would leave a like on this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if it's a new viewers, first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content. And leave your opinion down below in the comment section. People, we're so forward. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and I help the channel to grow. We now at 74,000 subscribers and I just want to say a big thank you to each and everyone that continually support the channel you understand I am really grateful I am really really grateful for the support you understand I mean I say we are now on the road to 80k subscribers so people continue to support the channel continue to share the content continue to like the content and all of that people, I am really grateful. I really appreciate the support. You understand? Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You understand? Now, today is the last day in the year for 2023. And we are heading into 2024. And if if you live visit today and you are watching this video right now, that means you are blessed and God spare your life for a reason. If you are watching this video right now, that simple mean God save your life. Him spare you for a reason. You are a special person to God. God spare your life for a special reason. So draw closer to God. All is understand me I say and girlfriend tonight, in murder. Instead of the police in Clarendon this say they new have year arrested you a in police a constable alongside his girlfriend and another and individual as, as a to part God of an ongoing and give him investigation all the into the murder and give him a all man praise identified and give him as Daniel Lowe. The glory. Because remember, a lot of people don't live to see the 31st of December. And you do that. A lot of people now live to see the first of January and you do that. So people be grateful to God. Show him the, the honor. Show him the respect there. You understand me? I say spend some time with God tonight. Forgive him the thanks and the praise. Alright, people. Now remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. So make we jump in the topic now, people. Now a chillani woman. I know, sought by the police after her husband lose his three pints, people, after a domestic dispute. So, I'm going to jump in it. Woman being sought by police following the death of her husband. The police have launched a search for a woman suspected to have killed her husband during a domestic dispute at their home in Wakesfield, Trelawney, Saturday morning. The deceased is 59-year-old David Brown, otherwise called Dave. Residents say the tragic incident came after what they describe as a tumultuous relationship between the man and his wife. A piece of concrete block believed to have been used to deliver the fatal blow was found on the scene. It is understood that about 7 a.m., residents heard scream and a commotion involving the woman and her husband. Checks were made and upon their arrival, they found Mr. Dave with what appeared to be a wound to his head. He was rushed to the Falmouth Hospital where he pronounced dead. Superintendent Winston Melton, head of the Chilani police, is urging the wife to surrender 
herself. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, just before the new year, just a few hours away from the new year, and uh, you know, this happened. You understand what I say? And sometimes I wonder if every time when somebody, when, when, when a couple catch up or a family member catch up, it have to get physical. Why them can't just, is it that everybody just at? Why nobody no, 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 no walk out nothing again and all of them something there? Now, as a big woman, but you don't go. You should not look for come from prison, you are look for go. But people, stay the thought on that down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video. Give it a thumbs up. Now, we are going to move on to our next topic, my people. You understand me, I say? Because the government definitely under pressure. So, Andrew Wellness come under more pressure as uh, the Diaspora Council and Easy as Advocate Chitton protests over corruption and crime. So, the diaspora step in now and, uh, you know, they are chitting and jewelers for protest over um, the crime and the corruption we are going in this country. Now, everybody fed up how they go on in the country, people. Everybody and their mother now fed up at the, the crime and the violence, the corruption and all of them like something that we are going in a country. You understand me as a people and everybody now has stepped out upon the government. Everybody fed up by government. You understand me as a now Andrew need to do something. Mr. PM definitely need to do something, people. You understand me as a and if you don't agree with me, you wanna leave a like on this video. Now what I am gonna do, people, I am gonna leave you guys with this voice note and you guys can take a listen. Take a look and leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. Alright? Check it out. Government Diaspora Council Uneasy as Advocate threatens protests over corruption and crime. Greetings from Action Now JA. Greetings to my followers. Greetings TikTok. Greetings to my brothers and sisters at home and abroad. Big up to my haters and my critiques also. So I, I, I have a mixed feeling because something is giving birth. Something is giving birth to something that is long overdue. We're talking about the complete destruction. The obliteration of this political system. I want to salute the most honorable members of the Jamaican diaspora team. At least now I see that the diaspora is listening. They are observing, they are aware, they are conscious of the things that are destroying our country. Crime, violence, political corruption. These are the things, the cost of corruption runs into billions of Jamaican dollars annually. That is why we can't have good roads. That is why we can't have access to clean running water 24 7 in every community in Jamaica. That is why we don't have the healthcare system that will take care of our loved ones when they are sick. That is why we don't have the, 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 the agricultural system that can feed our people healthy foods. That is why we don't have a system with a better energy, a better plan for energy, the use of energy and electricity. That is why we don't have a country with better plan for our youths. That is why we have a country that so much teachers and public sector workers are fleeing the island because we are simply not getting value for money. The politicians have took upon themselves 200, 300% increase and our country is running like a wreck. It's running to a wreck. Our country is being slowly deteriorating 
by political corruption, nepotism, cronyism. Our parliament is saturated with imbeciles, cruel, wicked, nasty, narcissistic, egotistic people who just won't do right by the Jamaican people. And so the diaspora has to step in right now. Six parliamentarians investigated for illicit enrichment. And I'll know because we have a wife as Speaker of the House who's blocking all the reports that should be tabled and should be brought public to the people. Oh, can we extend the term of a government that we cannot trust, that is hiding, concealing criminals and fraudsters from the Jamaican people? The diaspora step in and I stand in solidarity with the diaspora. Mr. Francis, don't threaten to take action, sir. Take the action. Regretfully, the Jamaican government has forced the diaspora, its the largest source of foreign exchange, to take these unprecedented actions in the best interest of Jamaica and its people at home and abroad. Don't be regretful. And don't threaten to take action. Take the action. Right? I don't want it to be a case where money, less foreign exchange, stop coming here through remittances and other uh, means. Set up a political system. Set up a political party that the people of Jamaica who are fed up of this garbage can truly exercise their democratic right and elect the best people People who have no ties with private sector. People who will do right by the people. People who are uncompromisingly patriotic. Mr. Francis, don't be regretful, man. Take the action. We deserve it. The country is running like a mess. We are not getting value. These politicians took 200, 300% increase. And treating us like garbage, running the country like garbage. There's lack of good governance, no accountability, no transparency. Crime and violence and corruption is deteriorating, it's diminishing and eating away our country. This political system must be destroyed. This Westminster model that we practice, this, this needs to go away. We need no governor general. We need no constitution approved by the crown. We don't need no crown land in Jamaica. We need land for the people, them. We need a future for the youths in the inner city. We need our farmers to start producing. Producing organic food. Food that is healthy. We need our healthcare system to improve. We need our roads to be fixed and properly maintained. We need our schools to be properly run by the best. And our students are decent. And the parents are also decent. We need our country to be clean up, man. Too much saturation and corruption, man. The parliament just saturated with, 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 with corruption and, and criminal and nasty, egotistical, narcissistic people. We never bargain for that. They need to go. So, Mr. Francis, the Jamaican diaspora, most honorable members of the Jamaican diaspora, I salute you tonight. Don't threaten to take action, but take action. And we, the people on the grounds, we stand in solidarity and we stand in support of any action that will truly liberate our country and our people to transition from a state of dependency to a state of true independence. Big up. Now people, on a year definitely what they go on, I know say, a lot of these people that are so dieted are going to jump under this video and they're going to say, um, they're spreading chat too much on this and that. Because them no business but not at all when they go on. You understand me I say? But for the people them who care about Jamaica, care about the future of our children, care about the future of Jamaica, and no 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 like the direction where Jamaica are going. You understand me I say? This video are for you. Don't follow the few way they make up their nice. You understand? Because 
in a everything you do, you go have good and you go have bad. So nobody follow the few of them where you kill up yourself and I make one bag of knives and I try to be a, be, be, be a crap. That's what them do best. So leave them, make them go and chat the crap. You go find a few of them come and they will argue with you. Know, just make them argue. Alright? Big up on yourself.